So starting with number one, step one, draw and shade a tape diagram of the given fraction. Step two, record the decomposition as a sum of unit fractions. In step three, record the decomposition of the fraction two more ways. And the first one has been done there for us. So starting with letter B, um, if we look at step two actually, um, we can see that we need to record the de decomposition as a sum of unit fractions. So the first thing to know here is what a unit fraction is. And a unit fraction is whenever the numerator of the fraction is a one. So one fourth, one fifth, one third, any of those are unit fractions. So with letter B, step one, draw and shade a tape diagram of the given fraction. So we are working with eighths. So we have one whole unit, and in that unit, we know we have four equal parts. So we have eight total. So right here is our one unit. And in that, we have six shaded parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six eighths. Um, and for step two, we need to record the decomposition as a sum of unit fractions. So we know that six eighths equals one eighth plus 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 one eighth. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. Um, for step three, we need to record the decomposition of the fraction two more ways. So two more ways to make six eighths. So if we look at the number, um, the, the tape diagram above, we can divide these six eighths into a multitude of different fractions, but we just need two more. So one thing we could look at would be if we did three eighths plus three eighths. So we have six eighths. Six eighths equals three eighths plus three eighths. And if we need one more, six eighths equals another way that we could do this would be one eighth plus two eighths plus two eighths plus one eighth. So if we had one eighth plus two eighths plus two eighths plus one, whoops, plus one eighth. There we have one plus two is three plus two is five plus one is six. So we have six eighths. Looking at letter C, so we start off drawing the tape diagram and we are dealing in tenths here. So this is our one, that is our whole unit, and we have 10 pieces. So we know we have five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And of those, seven of them are shaded. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven tenths. So we need to start off with our unit fractions creating our fraction. So we have seven tenths, and we know that is equal to one tenth, plus 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 one tenth. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. Um, and to make two more fractions, we know we have seven tenths and seven tenths. And a few different ways we could do that, once again, is if we did four tenths, plus three tenths, four tenths, plus three tenths would give us seven tenths. And another option could be we have three tenths plus three tenths plus one tenth. So we have three tenths plus three tenths plus one tenth. That gives us seven tenths. So moving on to number two. Step one, draw and shade a tape diagram of the given fraction. 
In step two, record the decomposition of the fraction in three different ways using number sentences. So in step one, we know that we have to shade, draw and shade a tape diagram of the given fraction. And for letter A, 12 is our denominator, so we know that one whole is 12. So that is one. And for 12, we know we have six in the middle, and then we divide that into four, and we know four times three is 12, so within each of these fourths, we need to divide that into three pieces. And of those, 10 are shaded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we can see we have three remaining, which would give us, whoops, 10. We have two remaining, which would give us 12. So we have 10 out of 12 shaded. And so now we have that drawn. And step two is record the decomposition of the fraction in three different ways using number sentences. So three different ways that we can write 10 twelfths. Put one more over here. Okay, the first way that we could do that, we know 10 is the same as 5 and 5. So we could have 5 twelfths plus 5 twelfths is 10 twelfths. Another way we could do that could be if we did 6 and 4, that would also be 10 twelfths. So we have 6 twelfths plus 4 twelfths is 10 twelfths. Now we also know that we could do unit fractions and we could draw out 1 twelfth plus 1 twelfth uh, 10 different times and that would be 10 twelfths. Uh, but there's actually multiple different ways that we could do this. Um, so we'll do one more way. So if we took right here 3 twelfths plus 3 twelfths plus 3 twelfths plus 1 twelfth, so we have 3 plus 3 twelfths, plus 3 twelfths, which would give us 9 twelfths, plus 1 twelfth, that gives us 10 twelfths. So we have three different ways using number sentences. Looking at letter B, we know we have 5 fourths. Um, so here, we know we are dealing with fourths as 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and that is one whole but we actually have five fourths. So we have one more piece here at the end that is one fourth. So we can see we actually have one and one fourth total pieces. And of those, five, two, three, four, five are shaded. So now record the decomposition of the fraction in three different ways. So we wanna write five fourths in three different ways. So the first way we could see could be two-fourths plus three-fourths is five-fourths. Another way we could look at it could be five or four-fourths plus one-fourth is five-fourths. It also shows that that is one plus, oops, that is one fourth. That is one plus one fourth equals one and one fourth, or five fourths. And then one more way that we could write this could be two fourths plus two fourths plus one fourth. So we have two fourths plus two fourths plus one fourth gives us five-fourths. And for letter C, we have six-fifths. So similar situation. We have one, two, three, four, five is our whole. And we have one more fifth, because we have six-fifths. And of those, they are all colored in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we have one fifth here on the end. 
And if we want to write 6 fifths in three different ways, um, one way we could do that could be, as we saw before, 5 fifths plus 1 fifth. So we have 5 fifths plus 1 fifth equals 6 fifths, but is also equal to 1 plus 1 fifth, or 1 and 1 fifth. And if we look at another way to do this, we could look at 2 fifths plus 4 fifths. So we have 2 fifths plus 4 fifths equals 6 fifths. Or one more way to draw that could be 3 plus 3. 3 fifths plus 3 fifths equals 6 or 6 fifths. And for letter D, we are dealing with fourths, as we can see in the denominator there. So we know our one whole is four pieces. And we have one and one fourth, so we actually have one more fourth outside of one. And of those, all of them are shaded. One, two, three, four, and five fourths. So if we wanted to draw one and one fourth, one and one fourth, and one and one fourth, three different ways. One way could be if three fourths and two fourths equals one and one fourth, or we have two fourths plus two fourths plus one fourth It's another way to write one and one fourth because we know two fourths plus two fourths would equal one and an additional one fourth. And then one final way that we could write it, and of course there's always more ways that we could write this, we could do one fourth plus one fourth plus three fourths. So we have one fourth plus one fourth plus three fourths would give us one and one fourth.